Here's our ukulele week six beginner lesson or study guide. So we're gonna mute the ukulele with your left hand so it sounds dead. So the first chunk pattern goes down up, down up, down up, down up. Now that little carrot top underneath the note is an accent and we need to make it louder. So it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, try it along with me. This is also known as the reggae strum. So ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, second pattern. The X is a check or a mute. So mute, you kind of like just push the strings down to make a percussive sound. So it goes one and check and one and Or the X is kind of like when you you just kind of like touch the strings with your palm. It's kind of like a palm mute. Without the mute, with the mute, it doesn't ring out. Without the mute, with the mute, so that second pattern goes. Major scale number two, so E zero, F sharp two, G sharp four, A zero, B two, C sharp four, D sharp six, E seven. All right, so pick it along with me. Play your E zero. That's on the second string. Play your F sharp two on the second string, second fret. Play your G sharp four, so second string, fourth fret. Play your A zero, first string, open, no fingers down. Play your B two, first string, second fret. Play your C sharp four, first string, fourth fret. Play your D sharp six, first string, sixth fret. Play your E seven. First string, seventh fret. All right, so the notes of the E major scale, you notice there are four sharps. There's F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. So it's E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And it will always sound like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Here's our new chord family for the week. So F.
two times, standing on the taps. One, two, ready, and F, F minor. So the I, the middle, or the M, and the annular, or the A, or ring finger, to grab the A, E, and C string set. So that's strings 1, 2, and 3, starting at the bottom. The thumb P is used for the fourth string, the G. So here's the exercise using the scoop. So it goes like this. Thumb, scoop, thumb, scoop, thumb. This is what it looks like. Thumb, scoop, thumb, scoop, thumb, scoop, thumb, all the fingers. All right, here's an exercise picking using all four fingers. So the first one's a C chord, the second bar is the A minor chord, the third bar and the second line is F chord, and then the second bar on the bottom is the G chord. So you're gonna go P, I, M, A, then A minor, P, I, M, A, then F, P, I, M, A, then G, P, I, M, A. Here's how you play the exercise. The first one, you finger the C chord, then P, I, M, A. The next you do A minor, P, I, M, A, then you finger F, P, I, M, A, then you finger G, P, I, M, A. Anyway, that's one way to exercise to use all of your fingers instead of just using the thumb or one technique finger. Technique of this week is the tremolo pick. <coughs> tremolo picking is a technique performed by picking a note rapidly and continuously. The symbol there with the three lines is found above or below a note that is tremolo picked. So here's what it sounds like. So here's how you do the tremolo pick. You're gonna take your strumming hand, the pointer finger, and then you're gonna put your thumb across it to make an X. Now can you see it? So it makes an X. <clears throat> then you're going to anchor your hand down and you're going to rapidly just shake on the string. And then you can finger. 